This is an introduction to straight lines, polylines, and window frames. You don't need to have a node count for this. First, click on the single line icon. It is best to always go in the same direction, most prefer left to right. Click on a starting point and drag to the end point. Notice the green box on the left is your starting point and controller connection by default. Blue box on the right is your end point. You can reverse the starting location in the model configuration tab and switch back and forth to green and blue. Now we will add a couple more lines for demo purposes. We'll put one on the E too here. Or you can click twice on the line icon and create multiple straight lines as needed using the same click and drag method as you did with your first lines. Always remember to click on the icon to stop the process. If you prefer to use a polyline, perhaps on a gable, for example, versus the single line, click once on the polyline icon, then click the starting point and drag to your midpoint. Then click and drag to your next point. When you've reached your last point, drag a little out and hit the escape key. Now, if you have a slight arch as we do here, to define a curve, you left click in the middle, then right click for your pop-up menu, select define curve. This allows manipulation of the curve. Select an endpoint on your mouse and drag it to the position you prefer. Next, using the window frame icon, click and drag around your frame to size. Using the same window frame icon, create your door outline. Now to remove the threshold on the left side in the models tab, click on the lights bottom and change the value to zero. Then press tab or enter on your keyboard. To complete your changes, always remember to click on the save button. To finish out, rem remember all new entries rename to your preference. If you have any questions, you can always go to the Zoom room and we'll be glad to help you. Somebody will, I hope. <laughs> When renaming, make it easy for yourself. 